hi welcome to my video i'm jennifer roberts you're catching me on my youtube channel true divine 44 you can catch me on my facebook page true divine and it is the true divine for both instagram and twitter any like share subscribes follows comments most awesome um are really appreciated and much love to everybody who does that thus far i'm putting out as much free content as i can one to show what i can do and two to feed some positivity some foresight inspiration um to into the collective so this is part of what i do and it is the daily energy readings where i pick up on the energy combine that with tarot and give you a narrative for the day that might help you make sense of of what your day consists of of the energies that you encounter the energies that you'll feel yourself um, and just give you some foresight on that of course only ever take with what resonates here um, leave the rest behind don't bend a reading to your will or invite anything into your life that isn't necessary so for the 22nd of june 2020 we're looking at at first i pulled this reading and at first i thought ah damn but it's a little bit of a half and half it is how it is kind of reading for now and so it was when i started to dig into it um energetically it, it made more sense so where there is a little bit of like oh again there's also that understanding of where we're at and it's important that we get comfortable with wherever we are at whatever present moment we are at in life um regardless of circumstance to get comfortable in it because to get comfortable in it is to grow is to learn from that is to not give of yourself to the situation but to navigate yourself through it and take something from every situation that you are in so remember that as you are in whatever situations you are in whatever you're experiencing right now use it as a boot camp take something new from it learn something new from it learn something about yourself from it learn from some self-control from it whatever it might be you use it don't have anything wasted don't have any time wasted because no time even if you are in the worst of circumstances is wasted believe you me you can take the most positive things and um, that will help you in life over and over again like the gift that keeps on giving from some of the most upsetting dangerous strenuous stressful circumstances if you use it to your advantage if you use it um like the manager of your life that you should be to see where, where the gaps are in you and what you can take from this situation whatever you might be in so remember that um so the first card for the 22nd of june 2020 is the six of swords now it's in reverse so the six of swords would usually speak to growth moving on to <clears throat> excuse me calmer waters um but in reverse it speaks of a lack of growth a compression a, a feeling constricted and constrained but a knowing that it's almost like just what I've been mentioning there, being comfortable in whatever situation you're in and using it to your advantage to draw out those lessons, draw out that experience from it, from the situation that you're in. And it's as if a lot of people right now just know that they know where they need to go. They can see the Six of Swords in its upright, in its calmer waters. They know um, the position in life they want to hold. They know the things they want to get done and, and the things that they want to see and experience um, and do. So they know that and they can see that. And right now, today, it might be that you've got a choice of, you know, feeling constricted and therefore mentally stressed out because of it, because the swords are the mental, the thoughts. Um, or you can choose to do what I said, that even though you are constricted in your movements right now, that seemingly you are constricted to that point in your life where you can see where you want to be, where you imagine yourself being, it is, um, it's important for you to know that if you if you use this part of it this of your situation right now right is that this isn't actually don't see this as a, de a, a delay see it as an opportunity to learn even more about yourself maybe you've got to dig in deep you know to keep you calm maybe you've got to dig in deep to be mentally agile right now um even with outside forces causing you to not be able to do that easily maybe you've got to dig in deep to um have the mental um um 
agility to keep going and to, to, to still speak your mind, but in a balanced way. Maybe you have to learn some self-control over your thoughts. You can extract whatever it is, because I'm speaking in general, so you know, it's, it's broad terms, but there's, there's a constriction around a lot of people. And I don't want you to feel the con just the constriction and see just the constriction and of your of your thoughts of your manifestation power of, your, of where you want to be over there but your circumstance having you over here um i want you to see it as an opportunity to actually prepare you even more for over there if that makes sense that you see this as the opportunity that it is to help you grow to help you actually be even more well positioned for whatever it is that you're imagining in your karma waters i hope that makes sense to the right people so the second card being the ten of fire so this is speaking of a cycle ending a big cycle ending you know it's been a tough cycle um with passions along the way with with good things along the way but you know it's an end of a bad situation it speaks of it's the 10 um it's a, there's a resolution is near you know so the end of the situation and a little bit of 3d catch-up needing to happen to bring it to a 3d end but the the resolution is nearer than it was to you last week or the week before the week before that um but there's still this need to still keep a commitment of some kind there's still this need to do that get still stay in that what you would feel is a constricted role um there's still this need to have a perseverance in whatever those commitments mean to you um but you know you can use that you can either use that time wisely or you and and dig in deep and learn more and more about yourself during that time or you can um waste it and just feel constricted and just feel frustrated and speak from your mind without thinking you without without filtering the thoughts out of you through when it comes through your mouth um so you can you've got the choice here it's a 50 50 you know you can you can either waste that opportunity and feel bitter feel um resentful maybe for the constriction that you're feeling of anything outside of self or you can bring it into self, which is always the solution, and learn from whatever you need to learn from it. Dig in deep into the experience, feel it. Not be afraid to feel those emotions, those those thoughts, those those physical feelings, emotional feelings, soul feelings. And, you know, to dig in deep to every aspect of it, to prepare you for your calmer waters. See everything as a training ground. Everything is a training ground if you choose to make it so um so the third of the the third card is the nine of swords and it's in reverse um and this does speak to a deep despair so these these cards sort of bookend the reading and the ten of wands is in between so although you feel you know for some reason you know that you need to stay with this constriction right now whatever it is in your life you know that you just need to and keep it going for a little while longer. You can feel that the resolution is near, but you keep worrying about the constriction. So try and see the constrictions that you have in your life right now as training grounds to dig deep and learn more about self, learn more about other people, learn more about situations. But then this deep despair one, this is what saddens me because that means that the people aren't seeing this constriction for what it could be as in a gift to learn more about self, to prepare self more for the, the, the place you want to um, promote yourself to next, those karma waters, whatever they mean to you. Um, and so, so yes, there's, but this despair feels, feels stuck. It feels um, hopeless. And then on the bottom of the deck, we've got the seven of earth, but it's in reverse. And it's sort of this questioning, worrying about steps that have been taken um, that, you know, that serve your material needs, the people around you, the things around you, the job. Um, stress about, you know, the, the fact that have you taken the wrong path? Have you taken the wrong steps? Um, what's going to happen next and then that translating into the mental in with these two sword cards um, and this is not this this is not a hopeless time 
though it might feel like it and a lot of people around you, a lot of outside forces around you might be making it, making you feel like this fire in the middle constricted by these thoughts. Rather than being blown up by this air and growing it, you feel like the, these two cards here, these thought cards, these sword cards are dampening in your fire. But if you just can try and flip the script in your mind as to what these constrictions mean right now, as see as them see them as the gift that they are in that we're here to experience we're here to grow so it doesn't matter whatever steps you've taken with the seven of pentacles in reverse um don't worry about that it doesn't matter you're at the position you're at now and um and so for now instead of making the same mistake and putting yourself in a mental prison here you see locking up this this passion this fire this drive inside um, use this air, use this air to blow up your fire, give it oxygen, give it life in the dig deep in the situation that you're in now. There might be some things that you just can't get out of right now. There might be some things for good reason that you can't get out of right now. So use this time wisely to, to just extract everything positive that you can extract from it right now to, to add to your experience to add to your cv you know to your to your um tool toolkit that for, as in the magician card you know for when you need to use it next um this is going to this time will serve you you'll see it if you can flip this script on this growth card the six of uh, swords in reverse um and feel less hopeless about it and feel more hopeful and understand that you're here in this position in this time yes because of steps that are taken but you can absolutely use this time wisely you can use it for um to set you up for the place you want to be in um you know hindsight where a lot of people talk about hindsight i wish I'd, i wish i'd looked at that with hindsight or when you look at that with hindsight this that and the other look at be be your hindsight now if i can be a conduit to that then thank you for letting me have that privilege because um be your hindsight now in that you know you've been in similar situations like this before you felt constricted you felt constrained before um and I just want to say on the bottom of the deck, the seven of pentacles in reverse, but yes, underneath it is the sun. So it's never far away that enlightenment if you choose to use this time, this day in this reading as I've spoken about, as dig into these, go hard in the pain with these constrictions that you're feeling in your life. Use them, grow from them. Um, and flip that card in its upright as the growth card that it is. Um, then it'll serve you well and in hindsight you'll look back and think thank goodness I had hindsight at that time that I didn't just feel the constriction and feel the despair and feel the hopelessness of now I'm still having to go back to that time in my mind to um to to transmute the lessons from it because I didn't do it at the time now you can say if you can use this reading as a conduit thank you to to give you that hindsight to give you that foresight that forearm and forewarning then thank you because that that means a lot to me but you see five six seven see the eight of swords comes out on that growth card again and you will have to confirm it and whoever is feeling so locked up in their own thought prison in their own mental prison because of being frightened about the steps that you've taken the things that you've let go the things that you've kept a hold of the, the steps that you've taken in your 3d life it, don't despair don't despair steps are taken things happen you know sometimes you move away from people sometimes you move away from jobs sometimes you move away from self and do something to self that you know you wouldn't necessarily want to choose to do but it's a cycle look the wheel of fortune comes out on there you can use this experience this time to to facilitate your wheel of fortune even more so to get that wheel pumping to show that you're ready to flow with whatever situation that you're in it's no good just being ready to flow and say oh yes flow and namaste as long as i'm in a perfect situation with the perfect partnership with the perfect job that's okay yes we can flow right then the lesson is the experience is and we're here right now in these times 
that are tough yes and mentally tough they are they're imprisoning if you let them be so um now is the time to dig deep now is the time to prove to yourself that well i can flow even in the most uncomfortable situations uncomfortable is still an experience it's just as much a valid experience as blissful experiences so you know uncomfortable is still an experience and it's important that we get comfortable i'm going to do a video on that it's important that we get comfortable with with whatever situation that we are in and and start to see it as the monopoly game that it is of experience the hierophant look you're going to be fine if you can dig deep into this experience, if this resonates with you. The Hierophant is the bridge, is the conduit, just like I was saying, please use me as a conduit with this reading. If this resonates with you and I can do that for you today, then fantastic, that makes my day. Because the, here this Hierophant is exactly that, is the conduit, is the bridge from all of the different realms, the esoteric, exoteric and mesoteric, bringing it down for the knowledge, bringing it down into the 3D for you to be able to use on your journey. Um, and he shares that knowledge with people that are ready for it. Who is ready for it? People who can be comfortable in the situations that they're in, regardless of what it is, whether it's heartache, whether it's regret, whether it's constraints in a relationship, constraints in business, whether it is constraints, I don't know, even if you're imprisoned right now, um, or you're facing imprisonment and you're uh, literally before you even get there you're locking yourself up in thoughts of you getting there which of course would bring it in even more so be the hierophant be the conduit you you or, or listen to whatever hierophant whatever conduit you have in your life to to give you that wisdom to give you that knowledge um that soul's knowledge your higher self knowledge your true self knowledge to help you navigate in this 3d and to be honest, your higher self can be in its in when it is at its best. It, it is comfortable in whatever situation you are in. The only discomfort is is when we disconnect from self, when we disconnect from higher self, and stop listening and get two three D. The seven of pentacles in reverse. We get two three D. Oh how three D of you of you know of worrying about things and steps taken just be comfortable in the situation that you're in dig deep into it go hard in the pain if you have to to draw out the the, the best of, of what you can draw out the lessons that will serve you gift after gift after gift time after time again these same lessons if you can be comfortable because if you're feeling like this this is tough so if you can be comfortable in this tough situation then you are growing you are expanding you are learning that this is a soul's journey this is an experience that you've been put into this body to actually have this experience with all of the added aspects of feeling smelling touching on the greater stage <clears throat> it does speak of this constraint left right and center that, that they're trying to put on us that they're trying to ulterior motives they're constraining us that, 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 so so don't let it don't let you beat yourself be constrained you know if enough of us number if enough people in numbers would realize that actually there is no way they can only mentally constrain us that's all they can do because they can't lock up everybody they can't <clears throat> send people to prison in great great numbers for for the things that they're trying to threaten that they will do so um masks um you know so vaccines it's you know so they, they, they're, they're trying to lock you up in this mental prison why because if they can get you there and keep you there and get you feeling constrained and hopeless and helpless then they can bring in their talk they're thinking about their wheel of fortune already they're trying to flow you in their direction in their wheel of fortune well no hell no we have our own destiny we have our own paths and we need to lift ourselves out mentally of these constraints and see that this is bigger than this this is bigger than that if we don't just we shouldn't just be operating just in the 3d we should be given the 3d the gift of all of the other realms of what we should be being the bridge to bring in all of the experience to connect it all together like the circuit board that it is so lift yourself out of that mental trap, that mental thought pattern. On the bottom of the deck is the Emperor. You know, this is for me the Emperor card, seeing the Emperor card, just, and this is the last thing I'll say, is, you know, Daddy Saturn, the, the things changing around, turning around, on the, underneath that, the Devil card. The, the, the planets of nature always seeks to balance things out. 
and things for thousands of years have been out of balance things have been hijacked out of whack and so there's not just people lifting themselves out of mental prisons it is a tough time because this is a huge time the planets are doing things that they don't normally do to realign rebalance recalibrate the circuit and it's up to us to be ready to listen to, to have that knowledge bestowed upon us to know that we are seeking truth now this is the time of truth and it's no good feeling locked up in your thoughts regarding a holding on of the past a worrying about steps that you've taken to get here at least you're here so i hope that helps whoever was meant to hear it whoever was whoever whosoever's years it was meant to hit i hope it helps and you know i'm sending you my love i'm sending you my um compassion and understanding of where you're at but i'm also sending you a kick up the butt a loving one of course to just be gentle to self stop worrying about the steps that were taken just know where you're at now and go hard in the pain in it dig, dig deep in it find out everything you can find out about yourself even the most uncomfortable aspects of self find out everything you can about yourself so that when you're in your next stage in this wheel of fortune you have this extra knowledge you have this higher self knowledge of where you want to flow to how you want to flow with the universe be comfortable wherever you're at you know you can see a flower comfortable in the middle of a garden with rich soil um you know with with pretty gravel around it to protect it and, and help filter things in through um, you can see it in, the, in a prime situation in a garden and it's happy, it grows. But then you can look at your patio where it's concreted over and you can see this little flower of the same kind sneaking through this tiny little crack. Sometimes you can't even see the crack, but there it is, as comfortable. It's just in its position. But does it stop growing? No. Does it stop experiencing? No. Does it stop looking for the sunshine? Enlightenment? Nope. It just is. It just grows. And that's where we need to get to. All of this 3D malarkey. Pfft. Ditch. Old school. Lies. Manipulation. Control. Whatever expectations you have, you know, on yourself or situations or other people, drop them. Drop them by learning about self. Where are you lacking? Where do you need to grow? Where do you need to facilitate your own energy being your resource, your currency? And, and direct, direct yourself. Flow with the universe in whatever position you are in. And the sun will come out day after day for you still there whatever just like that flower the sun will feed it just as much as the flower is fed by the sun in the middle of the garden in the beautiful pot with all of the gravel on and feed it just as much But who has more resistance? If you were looking at those two flowers, and this isn't the best analogy I know, who has more resistance to things? Who has more grit? Who has more mm, strength, inner strength, that they can draw on whatever situation they're in? Is it the seed? Is it the flower that has been gently planted and has been nurtured every day and been given nutrients for its soil and, you know, plant food? Or is it the plant that didn't rely on anything or anyone? It just, it just flowed. It just connected with this position that seed was dropped. It just dug deep. It just burrowed down. It just let itself fall. And what did it do? It still grew. I would say the seed and the concrete that I've never got the heart to pull up has, has, has more grit. I've got a little bit more respect for it, you know? because it's, 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 it's powered its way through. So that's where I see it today. That's my door knocking. So that will make me shut up. 
much love be balanced be whole if you would like a private reading get in touch with any of the details below love you all you're not trapped you're just learning Thank you.